So, all right. So I am super excited for our new coach call for April. And so every single month we do these guys, we're going to be doing this usually in the beginning of the month. And so as you guys grow your team and as you guys get more people interested, you'll be able to send them this recording if they kind of, you know, join throughout the month. And then you can always invite them to the next one, which will be in May. And so it's kind of been easy just once a month kind of getting everyone in to kind of just go through a getting started right call. A um, couple things, if you guys have any questions, now is the time to ask, okay? Any questions, comment them in the, com in the, in the chat box um, and I'll look and like at the end of the call, I'll answer any questions. I am a complete open book. Um, and so I'm super, super pumped. So for those of you who do not know who I am, because I see new faces on here, my name is Dr. Stephanie Burgos and I am the founder of Team Healthier You Project. And so this is like super exciting because guys, I started as a coach back in 2013, July of 2013. And it was just me. <laughs> it was just me, myself and I, and just kind of with a passion and a vision and a dream to really help other people get, you know, become healthy, really help them with their wellness, really help them feel more confident, really help them have more energy. And I wanted to do that by getting in shape and walking the walk myself. And so that's kind of, you know, I've been around, I am, you know, the, in terms of, in terms of the team, I've obviously been here the longest. And so I've gone through so many mistakes. I have failed so many times. Um, and so literally I'm an open book to ask anything. And usually whenever I give any type of advice, I'm always trying to steer you guys away from the mistakes that I made and away from the pains that I had and the tears that I had, because this is a business like anything else. And so in like, like any other business, there's ups and downs. And so hello to everyone who's kind of coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the presentation. And so let's go ahead and share. We're going to share my screen. All right. So you guys can see my screen. Um, and I'm just going to bring it up to a hundred percent. Excellent. All right. And so new coach call. So again, you guys are all part of Team Healthier You Project, and we are all part of you know, a much larger kind of upline, but for purposes of this call, all under Team Healthier You Project. And so what I wanted to do first was actually start with our mission, our mission statement. And so some of you may say, oh, I didn't know we had a mission statement, but we do have a mission statement. And so our mission statement, and hopefully you guys will say, you know what, I, this is really cool. I can stand behind this. It's to be authentic and to live unapologetically, right? To help ourselves and others create a healthy foundation so that no matter what obstacles come in life, we stay true to the activities that help our mind, that keep our mind, body, and soul healthy, right? Because at the end of the day, there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be stress. There's going to be things that come up. There's going to be busy schedules. And it's about really, through our own personal transformations, really inspiring others to remain, you know, to remain true to the activities that are going to keep them well. So that is essentially, that's the mission statement for our team, for our community. All right. So before I begin, I want to just kind of put this out there and that is to weigh your ego with your bank account. And the reason why I put this at the front is because we have all different types of individuals who join our team, who join the network and, you know, people with different backgrounds, people who have high school degrees, college degrees, um, you know, advanced degrees, master's degrees, PhDs. We have the whole, you know, the whole gambit of degrees. And the whole point of this is that at the end of the day, I know for me, when I started, all I knew was medicine. Like I said, I'm a doctor. All I had been studying for 12 plus years was to become a doctor. I never knew anything about business. I never knew anything about building anything on social media. I was never, you know, super present on social media. I didn't know anything about having conversations, about branding myself, about leading a team, about doing something like this. I had no clue, but you know what? I had a heart and a passion and a vision and I was hungry to learn and I stayed a student. And at the end of the day, I understood and I really approached this as a second career. I really gave it the respect and realized, you know what? 
this is something completely different. And so I am going to have to really take this seriously and learn the skill set and really realize that I don't know it all. And I know for me, that is kind of the mindset I had to have. It didn't matter how much degree, it didn't matter how much schooling I had had. It didn't matter what my background was. What I needed to do was really learn this specific business and really staying a hungry student. Because even now, guys, I'm going on to my fifth year. My fifth year anniversary will be in July of being a Beachbody coach and being a part of this amazing community. And even today, I am still learning. You still have to be learning. You have to be adapting. You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to ask yourself, how can I grow? How can I do things better? How can I deliver my story better? How can I deliver my imagery better? How can I learn? And honestly, guys, when I thought about this, I don't know if you're anything like me, I never looked at this opportunity and kind of, you know, got overwhelmed. Or if I did, it was for a very small amount of period of time because I really enjoy challenges and I really enjoy growth, right? And when you are stuck within a comfort zone, when you're not growing, when you're not challenging yourself, you're kind of staying stagnant. And that's not really what's going to fulfill you. You need to be willing to push yourself. And so when I thought about this opportunity and I really came in as a coach, I said, wow, there's a lot to learn here. And guess what? If I stick to this, a year from now, I'm gonna be better. Two years from now, I'm gonna be even better. Five years from now, I'm gonna be even, you know, even more better. And so just really thinking about those things and not allowing it to overwhelm you, but really say, you know what? If I stick to this day by day, doing the daily activities that I need to do every single day, I will get better at this. And don't try to rush this, right? It's not about rushing. You go at your pace. And that's what I love about this opportunity is that I am telling you, I'm giving you the permission. I am letting you know I'm taking that weight off your shoulders. You go at your own pace. If you want to just commit 30 minutes a day, commit 30 minutes a day. If you want to commit an hour, an hour. If you want to commit two hours a day, two hours a day. Whatever it is, you decide. One thing that I tell when I meet with the coaches that come in under me specifically, and I'm their, I'm their sponsor coach, the first thing I tell them, and it's going to be the first thing I tell you, is that you, I have no expectations of you when it comes to this business. And I don't mean that in a harsh way. I mean that in a sense where all I really care about is you having an emotional and physical transformation with our products and within our community. I care mostly about you. And I care mostly about you having, you know, having that true transformation. So even if you never, you know, you never share this opportunity with anyone or you never share it with anyone else or get someone else on a product, you're not going to disappoint me. And so you're not going to disappoint me. You're not going to disappoint the leaders on this team. You're not going to disappoint your coach. We want you to believe and have transformations with our products so that you can stand proudly behind this system. You can stand proudly behind the solution that we have. Because I know for me as a physician, I stand proudly because I understand just how wonderful, how, like, how wonderful our solution is for people and how many people need what we have. A lot of you know that obesity is a huge problem. I talk about this all the time, and I like to talk about it specifically on this call because it's the main reason, one of the main reasons why I coach. And it's because of that mission. It's a, it's a mission that's greater than me to combat obesity, to combat depression, to combat anxiety. That is why I coach. And I like to tell you that so you understand that that is kind of, in a sense, the root and the and where this where this team grew out of that mission to combat those things and we within our salute you know within our company we have the solutions of exercise and nutrition and you know and products that will help people get well and at the end of the day you all understand how important it is to treat your body well to be able to stay healthy prevent disease combat depression combat anxiety and out of all of the other companies out there this I know for a fact, and I, and I love that this is our unique thing about ourselves. We are the only company within the network marketing industry that has exercise as a part of the solution, as a part of what we offer. So really think about that and stand proudly behind that because we're not just supplements. We're not just kind of, you know, tools where we're, we have the exercise and the nutrition and the supplements to help people. So really, really think about that and really stand proudly behind that. All right. 
So what are your goals? And so again, this kind of goes in. So the first thing I want you to do as a coach is to really decide what are your goals? Again, it's up to you. And so if you just want to hold yourself accountable for the next 30 days and get your transformation, wonderful. Write that down and stick to get, you know, stick to doing your workout every single day, drinking your Shakeology or your performance line and sharing, you know, every day consistently about your journey or at least getting used to that. You want to pay for your Shakeology. You know, if you help three people get started on a success pack, which is most likely how you got started, you're going to pay for your Shakeology every single month. And maybe that's your goal and that's wonderful. If you want to earn about $400 to $500 a month, is that a goal for you? Do you want to earn more than that? Six or seven figures, you know, think about it, but write down those goals, dream big and stick to it and make it something that you want to do. Don't, don't have, don't be pressured by what other people are doing. Really create goals that are important to you. Do you want to quit your job and live a life, a life by design as a full-time coach? Things to think about. I'm a, I consider myself a part-time coach because I still work full-time as a physician. And I, I enjoy both careers and I love both careers. And so really it's about molding this business to fit your life and your goals. And so what do we exactly do as a coach? You know, I tell people all the time, what we do is actually really, really simple. And, but it doesn't mean just because it's simple that it's kind of easy to do all the time. We do simple things and the key is to do them consistently. And sometimes, some days, like right now, guys, I will tell you, I just came from doing my workout. I did not want to do my workout at all. I like literally must have pressed pause. This week has been just like a really kind of crappy week with me and my workout. I just haven't felt motivated. And so I've had to do it anyway. And so there are going to be days when you're not going to want to do these activities, but because they're part of the business, they need to be activities that you do anyway. So number one is being proof that the product works. It's the first vital behavior. And this is the most important guys, because at the end of the day, like I said, I want you to have a transformation with our products. I want you to stand behind proudly behind what you're recommending to someone. You know, when you go to the movies and you see an amazing movie, don't you go to your friends afterward and you say, oh my goodness, you need to go see this movie. It was freaking fantastic. Like you need to go see this movie next week. Like next time you have an opportunity or you, or if it's a book or a makeup product that you just tried or a, or a restaurant, you will go and recommend that because you had an amazing experience. This is the same thing. This is why it's so, it's like number one, so important is for you to have a transformation. You to just believe in the products. And sometimes guys, the transformation may not be fully physical. The transformation may start with an emotional transformation. Maybe just being a, you know, maybe the transformation within being a part of the community, actually having supportive people around you. I will tell you, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people who don't have supportive people around them. They have a lot of negative people around them. So really thinking about like being proof that the product works and understanding that if you do this, it's a win-win for you because I promise you, if all you do is this, you stick to the, you know, you stick to your workouts, you stick to eating well, you know, your body's going to change and you're going to change. And a year from now, you're going to be a different person. Number two is it what we call invite, invite, invite. And that is the idea of, and, and it's three parts. It's the first invite is, is sharing our, is sharing consistently on social media, your journey or sharing with people as you're talking to people in person, you know, it doesn't have to just be on social media. It could be, you know, in the checkout line, it can be, you know, at a soccer game for your kids. It can be at a party. It could be wherever, you know, when someone says, Hey, you look wonderful. What is it that you're doing? Or you have so much energy. What is, you know, what's your secret? What is it that you're doing? All opportunities to be able to talk to people, get to know them, build relationships. And so inviting aspect is every single day sharing our journey on social media and really reaching out to people and thanking people who, who really, um, who like our photos and who comment on our photos and really growing our network so that we can really bring other people into our network and share with them the products that we are enjoying and that we are using to transform our lives. And we'll talk a little bit more about inviting later on to give you an idea. The third part is recognition. And that is recognizing the small wins and the big wins, but specifically the small wins. And I know for me, guys, I was really guilty of this. Like I was really guilty of not 
celebrating the small wins. And that's something that I've had to do more of. It's just really saying, you know what, Stephanie, you rock this workout. That's a win. And so really when in the beginning, you may be just recognizing your own wins and that's wonderful. You should. And as you start getting customers and you start getting coaches under you celebrating their small wins, did they push play even though they had a really stressful day at work? You know, did they, did they, um, did they help their first client, you know, celebrating those wins because that's incredibly important. And then number four, this is the second, this is what I think is the second most important after being proof that the product works is doing your personal development. And what we mean by that guys is, you know, 10 to 15 minutes at least of some sort of personal development geared towards developing yourself. And this can be in the form of a book, in the form of a podcast, in the form of an audio book. And honestly, this coupled with the being proof that the product works, if all you do is this in personal development, I guarantee you, your life will change a year from now. I tell that to everyone when they come in, if you can just do this and you do personal development and you work on your mindset and you work on your self-belief and you work on your confidence, you will be a completely different woman one year from now. I promise you that. And you can ask any coach on our team. They have been completely transformed because of personal development. And so I will encourage you, you know, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of options. And like I said, if you're super busy and you're like, Stephanie, I can't just sit down and read. I'm like super busy as it is. Audible, you know, Audible through Amazon. It's $14.95 a month. It's how a lot of us get our, is how a lot of us do our personal development. And that $14.95 gets you a book. So basically you're paying $14.95 a month for a book. And again, it's through Amazon. It's called audible.com. You get your first free, you get your first book free. And so just really think about that. And if you need suggestions for a new coach in terms of what really great, you know, first books, I always recommend You Are a Badass by Jen Chinchero. Fantastic book. The Slide Edge is a fantastic book. Um, two great new books for new coaches. And so another good book, especially in regards to the business aspect, is called Get Over Your Damn Self. <laughs> so really great titles for, you know, just kind of personal development. And so really, you know, choosing something, and there's a lot of tons of great podcasts as well out there in terms, and that you can kind of, and we can share some, and if you have any, if you want to know some of the podcasts, just kind of ask on the team page. But personal development in the form of podcasts is also a great, and that's free. So it's also a great option. And so what's the vital process? And so this is typically the process for which we take our customers, for which we grow our team, for which we grow our business. And the idea is that you get, you start people off as customers. Again, getting them into, the, into your community, bringing them into our network, getting them into a challenge group. And a challenge group, guys, is usually, it's the supportive group, it's the private group. We tend to do them on Facebook. And a lot of times you will do your first one with your coach who sponsored you. I myself, I do host now a team-wide one. And so you are more than welcome to always be a part of that as well and bring your customers into that until you, just, until you say, you know what, I just want to do them on my own. I have enough customers. I don't want it to be too, too big. I want to be able to have a handle on it. But in the beginning, for as long as you want, you can always join in with me if, you're, if your own sponsor coach doesn't have one. For the most part, most of your sponsor coaches I know have one. So you can always join in with them as well, but you're always more than welcome to join into the one that I host for the entire team. And so, but we get, we get customers into those groups. We provide them with support. We provide, provide them with accountability and we help them get results, which is step two. Because again, the idea is that if we can help them get a transformation, they're going to be raving fans of what we have to offer. And then usually when they have that transformation, then we can say, you know what? you're really rocking this. You seem to really enjoy the products or you're really inspiring. Have you ever considered doing what I do? Or would you like some more information about how you can get your Shakeology paid for? Or would you like some more information about how you can earn some extra income as a stay at home mom or bring in some extra income in addition to your job? You know, as you see that they're enjoying it and they're getting results and they're consistently using our products, approaching them and saying, I would love to have you as part of our team. I would love to have you as part of our community. And so really helping them and really putting out that question and asking them. And then the fourth part would be developing and mentoring the coaches. And so that's where, again, once they sign up, you work with them in the beginning, especially in the first kind of eight weeks are crucial for new coaches who are pretty active and who are participating. Those first eight weeks, they're excited, but they need a lot, you know, they do need a lot, of, they, they will need a lot of direction. And so that part of developing a mentorship that's really important as well. And so this is kind of the process through which you build your business little by little, slowly every single day. 
And so the goals of an, actually, I'm going to skip this part. Um, and so actually, no, the goals of a new coach, the goals of a new coach are to create a launch post, ask for an accountability partner in that launch post, pick a program and stick to it, earn success starters if you're within your first three months of signing up, advance to Emerald rank and become a 500 PV coach. So these are the things we're going to go through today. So number one, create that launch post if you haven't already. And so this, and this, I give you guys an idea. And this is really kind of your, your big post that you say, hey guys, I'm super excited. I am, you know, super excited about this new program that I am starting. I am looking to work on my health. I'm looking to have more energy. And so really it's kind of putting yourself out there. And so for example, if you have done a program or have had a transformation, I give an example here where I'll just go through this one, but it says like, what if you could wake up one day? And this was my post. What if you could wake up one day and not recognize your body in a good way? I have been struggling with my weight since I was a child. My weight always went up and down and I was a slave to the scale. I let it dictate how I felt, but not anymore. I have been committed to my program and I feel amazing and I've lost five pounds and my energy is through the roof and I'm sleeping better. On top of that, my clothes are no longer snug. Yay. If it were not for my support group, then I, would not then I would not have been able to do this. So I'm so excited to be announcing and hosting my first challenge group because I want others to feel the way that I have. Now, this, this part's optional for you guys. You know, you can offer a free group and just kind of offer that support. Or you could just say, you know, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be joining with my coach and we're gonna be running this together. And if you're interested, we start, put a date, May 5th. Please message me or comment below and I will reach out. I'm so excited. And so this is an idea, for example, or let's say you don't have a transformation. You could just speak to, you know what? I've been doing my program for the past week, two weeks, and I have so much energy. I have, I'm feeling much more confident because I will tell you um, guys that women want to feel confident. W women want to feel beautiful in the skin that they're in. Women want more energy. And so when you're speaking, you know, really think about how did you feel before you decided to really take this step? How are you feeling at your lowest, right? Think back to those emotions. Were you like crying? You know, did you hate looking at yourself? Did you, you know, you know, not like, you know, looking in the mirror because you just weren't comfortable with the way you look? Did you not like taking photos? Did you not like going to try on clothes because you knew you would always be disappointed? Think about the emotions and think about how you, how you felt and maybe even how you feel now sometimes. And that's what you want to be writing and talking about in your post, okay? You want to be really tapping into those, those, those emotions and you want someone to be saying, yeah, like that's me or, oh my goodness, how can she relate to me so much? And that's why it's so important to share how you were feeling. And so, and then when you do this, you always want to share a clear picture of you smiling or at least, or if you have a transformation, sharing that transformation. And that's what, and, I, and I'll post and I can share with you guys the slides for this. But the idea is if you have, if you just got a program and have no results, again, you know, it's just kind of talking to how you're feeling in terms of any type of increased energy. It, you know, you love the supportive community. You love that you feel like your clothes are feeling better. Those are the types of things that you want to include, again, with a clear picture of you. And so th that would be considered your kind of your, your launch post, because in a sense, you're saying, hi, guys, I'm here and I can help you. Because a lot of times new coaches, one thing that they will make a mistake at is that they're posting, 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 but then through their posts, people never know that they can really reach out or people never know that you have something to offer them. So really keeping that in mind and really making sure, you know, at the bottom you're saying, you know, well, I have a group starting in a week. I have a group starting in two weeks, you know, and sometimes guys, you know, just kind of, you, you may not necessarily have a group starting in a week, but if, but in creating that urgency, people want to see that urgency. And so you could say, I have a group starting in a week. Um, and if you're interested, comment below. And so really creating that urgency. So goal number two would be to hit success starters. And so what this is, is that if you earn success club five or 10 in your first three consecutive months as a coach, you earn a free ticket to summit. So this is really cool guys, because this year it's in Indianapolis in June. And so if you are a coach, a new coach, that's something for you to consider. It is in June um, in Indianapolis. There's about 20 to 30 of us going from our team. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, and so just something for you to consider. But if you are within your first three months of coaching, if you hit Success Club 5 or 10, you'll earn that free ticket. So for example, let's say you started this month. You would have, like, let's say you, you signed up today. You would have either success, you would have to hit Success Club 5 either this month 
or you they have a kind or you can hit it next month but then as soon as you hit it you have to hit it the consecutive two months so like if you signed up today and you didn't hit it this month for whatever reason right but then you hit it in may if you hit it in may june and july you would earn success starters okay but if you earn it this month success club five you would have to earn it april may and june the consecutive three months in a row okay so it just has to be a consecutive three months in the first three months that you're starting and so that's really awesome, something to consider, and a really, really great incentive. And so how do you hit Success Club? So with Success Club, you must um, basically start someone off with either Shakeology on Home Direct, that'll give you two points, or you get two points for every challenge pack sold. Most of you got started with a challenge pack, and that's kind of the beach body on demand for a year, coupled with Shakeology and maybe the performance line or just Shakeology in the performance line, but it's the package. And so you get two points for every package that you recommend to somebody and they purchase. And so, and then you get two points for Shakeology. This is incorrect here. This one point, I have to change that. And so if you sell three, three challenges, three packages, you get six points. And so something to think about. And that's pretty much how it works for Success Club. And also when you're reaching for a Success Club, every month there are prizes by corporate. And recently they've been kind of webcast, which have been really great with really top authors right now that a lot of, you know, from books that a lot of coaches are reading. So that's been really cool. But it's again, an incentive program to help you uh, push for those goals. And then you also get eligibility for Success Club leads which are basically free customers and commission given to you by Beachbody once you're an Emerald rank. And so again, more incentive to really kind of hit this kind of benchmark, this objective benchmark. And really guys, that's all this is. It's an objective benchmark. I am, again, I'm, I'm probably now like, I forget which month I'm on, but I, since not in August, but since September of when I started of that year, I've hit Success Club every single month at least success club five every single month. I've never missed a month. And so when you're thinking about, you know, again, even if it's five, it's that consecutive kind of benchmark that I'm like, okay, if I, as long as I hit this, I know that I'm growing my business. I know that I have an objective way to measure that I'm adding people to my network. I'm helping people. I'm bringing people into my community and that consistent effort adds up. Okay. All right, so, and then the, the other thing that I want to talk about was becoming what we call a 500 PV coach. And the idea behind this is that every product that we sell, guys, has volume associated with it. And the idea is getting to 500 points with the volume. So for example, I give you an idea here where if you, some of you, I don't know if you guys know what Energize is. I love Energize, it's our pre-workout. If you were to just sell Energize, but sell 15 of them, for example, that would give you 570 points and you would earn $195 that month just from selling 15 Energize tubs, okay? So it's the idea that if you focus more on volume, and the reason why I love this model, yes, the points are important, but this also is about meeting customers where they are. So for example, let's say you have a customer and they're on Isogenics or they're on Herbalife or they have a supplement that they really enjoy from Whole Foods or they're on Vega or whatever, you know, fine. It doesn't mean you can't help them with their exercise, right? It doesn't mean you can't help them get started on Beachbody On Demand. And you know, that's a $99 investment for them for the year and, for, and you can get them started. So for example, Beachbody All Access right here, $99. If you get 14 people, you know, on it for the month, that's 532 volume. That's $560 that you earn. That's a good, a good amount of money, you know, for just kind of, you know, getting people started with their exercise regimen. So really thinking about and understanding and making it a goal to understand what products we have, right? Because maybe there's someone who has problems with constipation and bowel habits. You know, we have digestive boost, for example, which gives, you know, which helps people increase their fiber. Or maybe people have low energy and they may like our focused energy, our focused energy shakeology boost to add to their shakes or to add to their shakeology. So really understanding what are the different products we have and how can you meet the customer where they are? You know, asking them, what's your health like? What's your exercise like? You know, what is your nutrition like? You know, and how's your energy? Really getting to understand, okay, what does my customer need in order to feel healthy, in order to really have more energy, in order to really get their results? And what products or mixture of products can I offer them? 
okay? And it's really kind of understanding that and thinking that and having this be more an objective measure because a lot of you, you're here because you wanna have some financial success, right? You wanna see some financial success. And this is the better model to follow because you're gonna, you know, there are gonna be some times when someone's not gonna to wanna to challenge pack. And I never want you to feel defeated and I want you to say, okay, you know, maybe you just want the all access. Wonderful, that's a win, that's huge. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna get you into my group. We're gonna get you started because guys, you never know when that person later on may see all of us drinking Shakeology and be like, you know what, let me try this thing. Because you guys are all trying it and like, you guys look amazing, I'm gonna try this. I have, I, you don't know how many times that's happened to me where people are like, I don't wanna try Shakeology, I'm not, you know, I wanna eat my food. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna argue with them. I'm, and my job is never to argue. My job is always to simply present and share and encourage and empower and love on them and just put them into our community. And then I let our community shine. I let my results shine. I let my energy shine. And then they decide later on what they wanna do. Never pushing, just always presenting and just always helping people where they are. So becoming a 500 PV coach. And then the last, the other rank, I mean, the other goal would be becoming an Emerald rank and team builder. So this is really where you really open up your business and the benefits. So this is when you, you sign two coaches under you. And so it's you plus two. So you plus an active coach on your right leg and your left leg. And the benefit to this is that you get to benefit from the residual income aspect of our business, which is the team cycle bonus. I just went through a whole call this past week on our team call, so I won't go too much into this. But the idea is that we earn income in two ways. One is our retail, which is for everything that we sell to a customer, we get 25% commission. Everything that we sell, we get 25% commission. But however, when someone comes in under us as a coach, as part of our team, we benefit from them from the volume production and we get a certain percentage of that volume production. And that's more so of our passive residual income and that's through the team cycle bonus. And you only can start earning that when you are an Emerald rank, okay? And so usually most people will put their spouse or their parent as their first coach. Like for me, it was my mother and my boyfriend. They were my first two coaches, my left and my right, and I became Emerald within like three days because I was like, you're doing this with me. And they have been the two people who have drank Shakeology daily with me for the past almost five years. So they have been, you know, my mother is super committed to Shakeology. Luke's super committed to Shakeology. He eats it, he drinks it every night right before he goes to bed without fail, that man drinks it. And, you know, and my mother drinks it every morning as her, as her first meal. So really, and, and, you know, and sometimes guys, sometimes, you'll have your family that are gonna be willing to support you. And they should be the first people you ask. And then sometimes they may be the last people to get on board, to be honest, you know? And it's just because sometimes you have to be the change for them and don't get discouraged. It's my plug to like not get discouraged if your family's like, what in the world are you doing? Like, you know, you're changing everything, you're eating so differently. You know, I come from a Latin background, you know, we never had kale or quinoa or that doesn't even exist in my culture, okay? And so like, when I'm like coming through with brown rice and like kale and my mother, like they're looking at, they were looking, now they eat that, which is wonderful. But it took a long time of presenting that and saying, no, this is what we're gonna eat, we're gonna, so just realize that, and don't be discouraged because at the end of the day, when it comes to eating habits, guys, and this is also another thing, when it comes to eating habits, you know, don't listen to people who don't look the way you want to look. You know what I mean? Like, don't listen to people who are unhealthy, who have medical, you know, who have that, you know, who have a lot of medical conditions, who are overweight, because at the end of the day, they probably don't know what they're fully talking about. And you shouldn't be trying to lead by their example or get discouraged when they, when they look at you crazy for what you're eating and what you're trying to do. Be the example, right? be the light to your family, to your community, because at the end of the day, that's what this movement is about. It's about really getting as many people on board, living a healthy life, teaching other people what is the right way to eat, what is the right way to treat your body, because most people are confused, most people do not know, there's too much data out there, so that's just kind of my plug for being the example to your family, because again, like I said, I only share this because I know that sometimes family can be really, really tough. And this can include your spouse, this can include your parents. So I'm just kind of putting that out there. So going Emerald rank and, and being and is, should be your, another goal as a new coach. And then I just like to put this out there because this tends to be a first question. This may, you may say like, what in the world is this? Don't worry about it right now. But the idea is, I just want you to understand that we, you have a right leg and, you're, and a left leg when you're growing. And as a result, like wherever you come in, 
let's wherever you are right now, if a new coach comes in into my, my downline, I have to put them under you the way that the tree is. And so just understand that if you may say, this is so confusing, it takes, it took me months to understand this. So don't worry about it. But I want you to understand if you see a coach, if you see a coach under you and you're looking on your online office and you see someone under you, that's not necessarily your coach, obviously, because you're like, who is this person? That's probably coming from someone above you, probably from your coach who has, who placed that, that coach there. The benefit is that when you become Emerald, anything that that coach produces in terms of selling and you're going to benefit from that volume. So just kind of think it, you know, just kind of realize that. And you can choose where you want people to be on your right or your left leg. And I just, again, I like, this is kind of just putting the, the terminology and starting to put the terminology into your head. Uh, but you can choose where people go on your right and your left side. And that's important as you start adding coaches. So when you start, when you have your first coach, reach out to your sponsor coach, read, put in the team page, you know, where should I place my coach? I want to make sure that I do this correctly. The first one to two times you'll ask, and then you'll be a pro. You'll, you'll under, you know, for the most part, you'll understand what to do. So the first one or two times that you're signing up someone, run it by your sponsor coach so there's no confusion and they can help guide you as to where to place them. But, um, and then after that, you'll, you'll understand, but this is just showing that you can choose where to place your, 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 your new coach. And then again, uh, this is all just kind of, this is above, this is going towards diamond. This is after Emerald. But again, I want you to understand and start seeing some of these graphics and really a diamond coach has four coaches on their left, four coaches on their right. And then one of those coaches on each side is an emerald coach. So that is a diamond coach. And that's going to be kind of the next step, the next goal. Team leader, at this point, you're earning about $1,000 a month. So again, good goals to kind of, kind of think about. This is the leadership ladder of what that looks like. All right. So team calls, a national wake-up call. So every, two, every week we have a team call. Usually they're on Tuesdays. Sometimes they, they, they do go on another day depending on who's speaking and if, if there's a conflict with their schedule. So for example, uh, next month, next week it's on Thursday because Ariel's going to be giving a talk and that's when she can come on. But usually it's on Tuesdays and those are great. They're recorded. You can always find them on my YouTube channel. I upload them on my YouTube channel. So if you Google, if you YouTube my name, um, Stephanie Burgos, you will find all of our videos. I've been running team calls since 2014. So I have a lot of calls. So showing up every single week, running calls just like this. And I'm just like, you know, you know, just kind of going over through many of the topics. And so there's lots of information out there. There's no, there's no lack of information. Okay. National wake up call every Monday at 11 corporate puts out a national wake up call. Fantastic data guys. Fantastic call. You can listen to the recording. I definitely recommend that you do that. And it's great. Has usually what they do is they will reach out to top coaches. Sometimes they're newer coaches. Sometimes they're more veteran coaches to come and give tips on how they're building their business and how they're having success. So really, really awesome. They're every um, they're every Monday, and so you can also find them on the team team four one one Beachbody page on Facebook. That's where they go live with the call. And you can watch the recording there. And then we also have Shakeology Podcasts. And so, again, you can find this on any, if you have like an iPhone, there's a podcast app you can download. It's free podcast app. And you can download all types of podcasts on there. Same thing with Android. Android has its own podcast app. Okay. All right. This is for me and for you. Breathe. Okay. So breathe and, and you know, turn overwhelm into excitement. And again, this is my plug, guys, that there's a lot of information. Okay. And no one's expecting you to kind of understand all of this right now. And so just really understand, and they, I really want you to say, wow, there's a lot to learn. And let that excitement drive you. You know, when I, when I first became a coach, I was really looking for something to feel passionate about. And that's what this did for me. I was like, wow, there's a lot to learn. And I'm really excited. And if I stick to this, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. And I allowed myself to, to you know, to, I allowed myself to dream and to really, keep that in the back of my mind. And so, all right. So where am I next? All right. So this is the roller coaster. What I like to say, and for those who are kind of listening in, or I can't see all your videos, but, um, so this is the roller coaster of coaching. And I like to put this out there front and center guys, because it is definitely a roller coaster. I can't tell you how many times I've cried, how many times I've doubted myself, how many times I've failed, how many times, 
I have bawled my eyes out to Luke of just like, this is really hard or like no one's showing up to my calls or like I put in all this effort, nothing's happening. And you know, no one liked my posts and all this other stuff, like all these emotions. So like, this is that initial excitement, your first sale, super excited. Then you get your rejections and your no's. Then you start doubting yourself Then you're inspired Then you're frustrated Then you hit success club and you're like, yes, I can do this. And then you get a return and you're like, oh man, this sucks. And like, oh, and you just kind of, you know, start your month off all wrong. Then you doubt yourself again. Then you get your first coach. Then you get to Emerald and then your, your coach goes inactive and you're just like, oh man. And so it's, it's a roller coaster, but it is so fun. <laughs> it is such a fun roller coaster, guys. And it will absolutely change your life and it will really empower you and it will really, you know, add to your life and fulfill you. Again, if your heart is in this for the right reason. And I know I've, I've really, you know, just because of the energy of our team, we tend to really attract people whose hearts are in this for the right reason. And so you'll, you'll notice that in our team, we're an incredibly positive, supportive team. We have no negativity in our team. I, I'm proud to say we've never really had a lot of, we've never had any negativity in our team. And I think it's just because of the energy overall, collective energy and the people that we bring in. Um, because one thing I've realized throughout all of this, guys, is that when it comes to growing your team and growing your business, the most humbling thing that I ever learned is that you will attract, you will never attract someone who's better than you. And I want you to really take that in. You will never attract someone who's better than you. So if you want to be a consistent, disciplined, like person who's on their workouts and, you know, and doing their shakes and like, or if you want to have a, 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 a business foundation where you're consistent, you're showing up every single day, you're not going to attract that in someone. You have to have that yourself. You have to develop that within yourself. And then you're going to start putting out that energy and you're going to start attracting that. So really keep that in mind. And that's why I love this business is because in order for your business to grow, you have to grow. And you, again, you, I, I have girls who will do these calls now who were so quiet when they first came on, when they first signed up, they were so shy, so quiet, didn't know, you know, they never thought they'd be, you know, doing team calls and educating people and doing presentations and doing a PowerPoint after college. And they never thought any of this, but they grow into that leadership role. And so really keeping that in mind and thinking about that. And then, so throughout the course of, you know, as a coach, you want to make sure that you're filling your buckets and preparing for the holes in your buckets. And what we mean by that is, you know, you're going to have fitness and nutrition slumps. You're going to, again, this week is one of those for me. I just have no motivation to do my workouts and they're incredibly hard. And it's like, you know, I have to really dig deep and say, you know what, just do the workout, just get started. It doesn't matter if it takes you two hours to finish the workout, at least you finished it. And like, that's what I tell myself. And so, you know, always being willing to give it, you know, to do the things you have to do no matter what, you know, tapping into your personal development and really working through some of the inner things that may be going on that may be stopping you from working the business or stopping you from doing your workout. Maybe there's a deeply rooted emotional kind of obstacle that you're going through and really filling up your bucket with personal development. Always being a student, you know, going, you know, so that when you're, you know, always being a student, plugging into the, to the training calls doing your four vital behaviors and always visualizing your why. Why did you decide why did you decide you wanted to do this? What is your goal? What is your mission? Why did you want to be a part of this team? What is it you want to do for your family? What is it that you want to do for yourself? You know, really thinking about why, 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 why. Um, because this will prepare you for the no's and the rejections, guys, because you're going to get hundreds and hundreds of people telling you no. And all a no is, is a seed planted. And all a no is, is not right now. And I will tell you now that the people who are coming to me now and, you know, and who are purchasing from me now are people who've been following me for months or years, some of them, and they told me no before it wasn't a good time for them or they didn't, the, they didn't like the price or the price wasn't something they could afford at the time. And they didn't see the value in it fully, maybe in the beginning, but little by little, as they see results from our team, they see results that I share, they see my results. They're like, you know what? I want to do this. And so I, you know, and so they come back later on. And so understanding that you have to go through lots of no's in order to get the yes, you know, you know, um, you're going to have self doubt. You're going to have a lot of self doubt. And I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to have a lot of self doubt and it's normal, but the key is not to let it overcome you. Okay. The key is to say, you know what, I'm not going to let this, I'm not going to let fear stop me. I'm not going to let doubt stop me. I'm going to 
plug into the team. I'm going to tell them how I'm feeling, see what they recommend to me in terms of personal development podcasts. Maybe you need to get on some one-on-one -on -one calls with your coach, you know, just to get you through a slump or to get you through a period where you're feeling really doubtful and you just need a little bit more extra support, maybe more one-on-one -on -one in a video call, reach out and don't try to do this alone. I will tell you that the people who try to do this alone are the ones who ultimately end up leaving or they end up giving up because they don't feel the community. They don't feel like they're a part of something. So don't try to do this alone. You know, you're going to have returns and cancels and then you're going to have distractions in life. That's, that's inevitable. That's inevitable for everyone. So I posted and now what? So this is what I like to talk about as well on this call. So now you post it and you're like, well, now what do I say? And so sending a message, so the, the tips, and this is what all the, the girls that are right now, when you see them saying, I got success club too, or I helped, some, I helped the customer, this is what they're doing. Every single day, with, you know, without fail, they are sending messages to people who like and comment on their photos and on their Instagram stories. They're focusing on building relationships. They're learning what their needs of the customers are first before their recommendations. They're, and they're focusing, when they're talking to people, they're focusing on building relationships. You know, what's their family like? What's their occupation? What do they do for fun? And then they say, okay, I, I really think you would like our community. I really think you would like what we have to offer in our group. Here's the information. This is what the system is. Let me know what you think, yay or nay. That's usually how I speak. And so, um, again, I speak, and, and that's another thing, guys, is to really get comfortable in your voice. That's going to be something that you develop. So if you're someone that you're very direct, naturally, be direct. You know, if you're someone that, you know, I, I'm someone that I'm very direct, I'm very chill in my language, I use a ton of emojis, and so I'm very, I'm very just approachable, but I'm very direct. And people know that about me. And I've never, you know, usually, and that's, and uh, honestly, a lot of people need that honesty in their life. Um, so don't be discouraged if you feel you are more direct or however you are, just try to really have your own language and just, and just really have your own voice. Don't feel like you have to sound like me or you have to sound like your coach or you have to just sound like yourself. If they were sitting right in front of you, how would you be speaking to them? So a sample message to send to people. So to someone who likes your post, thank you so much for liking my post. I really appreciate the support. Is there anything else you would like me to post about that would serve you? That's what I say. That's my language, right? But the idea, they, they're, they're doing the same thing. Thank you so much for liking my post. I really appreciate the support. Is there anything you would like me to post about that would really help you, right? That's it. That's building a relationship. That's not selling anything. That's genuinely doing market research in a sense of who's liking your post and how you can, get, how you can serve them more and see what do they want you posting about. Or you can also say, thank you so much for liking my post about my journey. I was not sure if you would, I was not sure if you were interested in more information or just showing support. I didn't want to assume, so I thought I would ask. This is a money, this is a great, this is a great, this is a great one right here. This works a lot of times, and I will tell you that 70, like I would say 75 to 80% of people are just showing support initially. And that's fine. Because then the follow-up comment to that is. Great, thank you for your support. You know, is there anything you would like me to post about that would really help you? But then there's about 20% that are like, oh yeah, I actually, I actually was interested. I meant to kind of approach you about it. I didn't know how to approach you. So that again, opens up the potential, opens up the conversation. This is what a lot of people are doing in terms of using both of these, but in terms of building, but really whenever they post about their transformation or they post, they're messaging everybody who likes, everybody who comments, simply asking this. It's a very approachable, you know, question to ask people. And then inviting can be scary, but you must trust the process and do not make assumptions of anyone who needs your help. That's the worst thing you could do is make assumptions and stop yourself from asking people because trust me, the worst feeling is when you have a friend and they order Beachbody from someone else and they just didn't know that you were doing it. And you're like, oh man, I missed this opportunity. That actually happened to me. Um, in a sense where I was the person and my cousin was a coach, but I never knew she was a coach. And I actually ended up signing up under someone else just because I didn't know she was a coach. And by the time I found out it was already too late and you know, it was, a, I would have loved to be a part of that team, but it was already too late, but she never spoke about it. You know, she never, you know, talked about it on social media and she never approached me. 
and look, I came in and I like took off in a sense. Like I was like super passionate about the, the business. And so you just never know. And you never know who's going to run. You never know who's going to be interested in this. Go for no. And what I mean by this is go for as many no's as you can go for. Because again, no's are just seeds planted. And then you reap what you sow. The more people you talk to, the more people who will know what you're doing and the more people who will start watching you. And if they say no, it's okay. Follow up with them the following month. You know, have a system of following up with them always. I get told all the time that I have a mean follow-up game. I have a mean follow-up game. I will never, I will continue to follow up with people until I get a hard no. And in five years, I've only gotten like five or six people who, like maybe a handful of people who are like, stop following up with me. And then I'm like, okay. And so it's just one of those things I, until they tell me a hard no, they're still on my follow-up list because again, it just means no, not right now. So that's kind of my mentality and what I think. And I will continue to follow up and I say, is this a good time? You know, I have like my, I have like maybe two, two scripts that I use. And then if they say yes, then continue with our scripts and then follow the scripts guys. This is key. You know, when someone says that they're interested, it is typical for a new coach to make the mistake of telling them everything all at once in one big long message of what the package is and they're so excited and they say everything all at once and it's very typical so if you've already done it chuckle it's very typical but if you haven't here is my kind of you know my my uh, encouragement not to do that so when someone is interested first you know the first thing you do and all i do is ask four questions for the most part to most people you know, I say, thank you. I'm super excited. You know, what are your fitness goals? That's what I always ask. What are your fitness goals? What have you done to reach them in the past? What's your nutrition like? And how much time do you have to give to your self care every day? Those are my questions. And then with that information, then I say, great, here's our system. This is what you would get. Let me know if you're interested. And that's it. I don't convince people. I don't try to go through, you know, try to convince them, try to share like my life story of, you know, you want them to be talking more than you're talking. Okay. So, you know, what are, you know, what have they done in the past to reach their goals? Sometimes I ask them what their height and weight is. I like to get like a mental picture of what they look like. You know, I, sometimes I ask about their support at home. I always use emojis, you know, emojis, you guys know that emojis are like, you know, it's like your way of being excited. I always use emojis and I use gifts and I use, you know, yeah, emojis and gifts. I, I really use that a lot. And then always ending with a question. And then you have the, my scripts are available on our team training site. And hopefully you guys do know about our, our team training site. I'll show it to you right here real quick in case. So teamhealthieryou.com. If you go to teamhealthieryou.com, um, and you put in the password, it's password protected. But this is, our, this is our page for right now. I'm looking to kind of update it over the next couple, more so for like the way that it looks over the next couple months. Um, but if you go to new coach checklist, this is where you'll find, for example, expectations from Luke and I. You'll understand how to send people your links here, how we earn money. Um, one of the new coach calls is here, but this is all here. And then you can start the training here. There's training here for you guys. But what I want to just highlight for you guys is the scripts over here. So if you click on this and then click into the Word doc, you'll find my scripts to my, and so Stephanie's current script, for example. And so this is exactly what I send to people. So again, this is at your convenience. It even has the questions that I ask. And then I show you exactly what I send to people, usually the breakdown just always make sure and confirm that the price that's listed there is the most current price because there's always sales and things like that. But I always will send this exact breakdown and then I send a photo with the different packages. And that's, that's my script. That's what I send to everyone, you know, after they've expressed interest, after I've already, you know, gotten to know, know their goals, it doesn't change. And so just really emphasizing that it doesn't change. Do not steer away from the scripts. They really do work. And then again, make your recommendation. Like I said, send them the link. And so the way that you send them links, guys, we have two ways. You can use BB links, which is on the iPhone. So for example, on the, and hopefully you guys have the iPhone or the Android. There's an app called BB links right there. You can see oh wait, right there, BB links. If you click on BB links, you put in your coach ID and it'll automatically generate links. But I prefer to use the share cart. Um, I prefer to use the share cart way, which basically 
if you were to go to coachmobile.teambeachbody.com or sharecart.teambeachbody.com, this is a way you put in your login. So for example, you put in your login and it's going to take you to new enrollment. So it tells you your login over here. You say, yes, I want to enroll someone. And this is like once someone says they're interested, you would need their email, their first name, their last name. And then what you'll do is you'll input that into the into here. You'll say whether they're going to sign up as a customer or a coach. You press continue. The next page is going to take you to the different products. And so you would choose the challenge pack. And then you can choose which Shakeology flavor they want. You want all that information. And then you press send. And then it'll send them an email. Some of you may have seen this because you may have gone through this where you got an email with all the package. And so this is how we did it. And this is my, I prefer this way because then I know for a fact that I sent them the information. And then I always, once I send the information, I always ask the follow-up question, which is, okay, I just sent you the email. Please let me know, confirm with me that you received the email and let me know when you think you may order because I want to make sure that it goes through properly. That's important guys, because you may send a link to someone and they genuinely want to order, but they also know they're not going to order for like another three weeks. Wouldn't that be important for you to know so that you're not like wondering if they're about to order this week and then you feel discouraged and then you're like, this person never ordered. It's important for you to know when they're going to order. Right. And so just asking that question, Hey, just sent you the link. I want to make sure that you got it. I want to make sure that you received it. Um, let me know, check your email right now. Let me know. Um, because sometimes it goes to spam. Sometimes they don't get it. So sometimes you have to resend it. And then I say, let me, and then I say, when do you think you're going to order so I can make sure that it goes through super excited to work with you. That's what I say. Okay. So I say that again, follow up, follow up, follow up. And, and then if they say no, all I say is, okay, thank you so much for getting back to me and letting me know, you know, would you mind if I let you know about a group in the future? Most people say yes. And then I say, okay, great. When would you like me to follow up with you? Would, you know, and then some, and then I wait to see if they answer me. If they don't, then I just give them a date. And I say, would like right now it's April. I mean, yeah, it's April. So I'll say, you know, would June be a good time for me to follow up with you? And then they'll say yes. And then I put them in my calendar for June. And I, let me tell you something. I had a girl who told me to follow up with her in like 2019 already. And I was like, all right, I'll follow up with you in 2019. I'll put you in my calendar. And guess what? I will follow up with her in 2019. And, you know, so I always, ask, I mean, that's an extreme case. That's like the first time that's ever happened to me. But, you know, people will tell you when they want you to follow up with them. And then what not to do with inviting. Don't tell them the price up front. You know, don't cut the conversation short. Get to know them. Don't just like talk only about the, the packages. Don't send the link right away. I don't want to see links on your personal pages. I don't want to see links in posts. Do not be that person. Okay? Don't be... I don't care if you've done a network marketing company before, if you've been in sales before, do not do that. That is like my like big, please don't do that. Um, and then do not make the conversation about you always be forming people. All right. And what if someone has a coach? If someone has a coach, always ask if they're working with that coach. Cause a lot of people actually have our products and don't have, a, and are not working with a coach or they have our products um, and their coach is not active. And so they wouldn't mind switching to you. So what I usually do is I will say, okay, do you have a coach? If they say no, then I will have them switch to me. And I say, okay, and they don't have to buy anything for, they don't have to buy anything from me. If they have a product already, I will still help them and put them in my group and put them in my community and offer them the support because they may order later on. Right. Cause it's not about the immediate sale for me. It really isn't. So I, so, but if they tell me they have a coach, then I say, okay, do you communicate with them often? And sometimes they say yes or no. If they say no, then I still offer do I do offer them. I'm like, well, you have the option to switch. It's up to you. But if they say that they do communicate, I send them right back to their coach lovingly. I say, okay, great. What I would tell you to do is I would have you reach out to them um, because I'm sure they have a group starting and I'm sure they would love to hear from you. And so, and I usually will send people along on their way and they're more than happy to understand that. And then if they are a coach, for example, and they want to switch to you or like, let's say they didn't know they were a discount coach. They would have to wait six months. They would have to cancel their account, wait six months before they can switch to you. I've had a couple people do that um, over the years, maybe like two or three, not that many, but it is an option. And some people are willing to kind of switch because a lot of people are more so discount coaches and actual building coaches. All right. We're on to the last part. I know this is pretty long, but it's a lot of information. So social media tips 
and because this is important, the do's. And so practice, practice, practice. Social media is all about practicing. Obviously, you know, thinking about, you know, what attracts you to an account. Instagram is where a lot of us build now, Instagram stories. What attracts you to an account? You know, looking at, you know, really practicing on how you're taking photos. Really like right now, for example, I'm in front of a ring light. You can see my lighting. I am in front of a ring light for you guys. And I pay, you know, so it really brightens up my, my space. If I take a, a picture, it really brightens it up. So, you know, practicing clear pictures, good lighting. So in the beginning, this is one of the first investments you should make is actually a tripod and some sort of ring light in the, you know, in the, this, in the near, in the distant future, whenever you have the, the funds to be able to do that, those are the first best investments you can make. Oh, well, first is a good phone. You don't have, you have a crappy phone. That needs to be your first investment is a good phone with a good camera. Um, and then you do a tripod and then you do a ring light and then you continue on. Um, but you, you know, clear pictures and good lighting is really, really important. Using apps, you know, apps are super important. We use, you know, Moldeve. I use Moldeve for collages, using Lightroom and Snapseed and Afterlight for editing the photos, using Facetune. A lot of people love Facetune for blurring images and smoothing out skin. So these are all really great tools, okay? Um, being honest and sharing you guys, people don't want to see just a highlight reel on social media. They want to see the struggle. They want to see you being authentic. So do not be afraid to be authentic and be you. You don't know how many times I just share that I'm having a crappy day or, you know, I just was like, you know, had no motivation sharing the struggles and the good things. Be honest, add value in your post and follow the 80, 20 rule. 80% should be about your life, okay? Not, it shouldn't be a billboard for Beachbody. That's not the point. People can go and buy Beachbody on Amazon. They can go to someone else. They come to you for you. But if they don't know who you are, they don't know what you represent, they don't know what you've struggled with or how you're relatable to them, they're not gonna come to you. They need to fall in love with you, okay? And so it's about sharing you consistently and getting good at sharing you consistently. And again, that takes practice. We're not used to talking about ourselves, right? We're not used to like putting ourselves out there on social media. So just think about that. Posting at least one time, at least one time, one time a day. And this, what I want to say is being just consistent. You know, if you can commit to one time a day, then be damn good at, at posting one time a day. If you say, you know what, I can do two times a day. Just whatever you choose, just try to be consistent. Posting on Instagram stories and Facebook stories. That's where it's at. Six to 10 times, you know, just sharing about your journey. It's almost like a mini reality show. Have fun with it. People want to see the real you. And then one question I, or one question I always have you guys think about is imagine you had a hundred thousand people following you right now, right now you had a hundred thousand people following you. What would you say to them? Right? It's like, what would you want your message to be? What would you want? What would you want to stand for? What would you, do you want to stand about? Do you want to stand for confidence? Do you want people to feel inspired? Do you want them to feel motivated? You know, did you go through a horrible thing and you want them to learn from your lesson and not go through that themselves? Whatever it is, but imagine, because that's what I did when I started. That was the first question on day one that I asked myself. And I said, Stephanie, what if you could get a hundred thousand people to follow you? And I'm still working towards that goal of a hundred thousand people and I'm going to reach it. But it's one of those, you know, it's like, what, what if I had that many people, how would you act? And what would you say? And so follow up with people. Are we ready with after this? Are we ready to get over this? And then what not to do. So really try to avoid guys, blurry photos, dark photos, and do not post stock images of beach body. You know, always try to show you in the pictures, have it be your own pictures. Do not only post like twice a week and like never show up. And then do not take a picture of Shakeology in your program alone unless you are in the picture. So here are some, these are mine, okay? These are mine. This is where it gets a little fun for those of you who haven't seen these. So what not to do. So this is me with, you know, all of my, pro, you know, I just got Insanity Max 30. I was super excited. Look, July 2014. This is a year in and I'm making these mistakes, okay? So again, for it. I still had a lot of success making mistakes because I was consistent at least. Again, I'm, I'm, one thing I will say, guys, is that in all of my life of being a coach for over the almost five years, I have never missed a day of showing up on social media. Even if it's just one post, a quote, even if it's something, a, just I have never missed a day of, so, of showing up, no matter what. So keep that in mind when you think about what it takes to be successful, just that consistency, okay? And so, you know, not, not to put your products here, 
you know, what not to do, man, I, I must have done so many of these posts. Like if you were to go back to my Instagram and look at my Instagram, I did constant posts like this, these collages. That's why I'm always, if I see you posting like five pictures, six pictures in a collage, I will reach out to you and I will tell you, don't do that. Like it just doesn't look, it just doesn't look professional. It doesn't look nice. You're going to post a collage, just do the side by side, you know, just be, you know, really think about the aesthetics. Um, and so look at this, I'm like, want to win the new Pio. And so again, I was just, I was just, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. And oh, this is key too, guys. Take your pictures now, whatever your before picture is. If you guys see my current right now, my picture right now, my Instagram, this is the picture that I'm using the before picture. You know, I always compare my current with my old before because it's a good reminder to me and it's the best before and after. So don't feel like you always need to be coming up with this before and after, you know, don't feel like you always, you know, especially as you progress and you're more into our programs and your body's really changing, you always use this small little, it's not a trick, but it's just like showing the true kind of transformation of using your first before and after, you know, using your first before picture, your very, very first before picture. That's why I'm always encouraging women to take these pictures because a lot of times it's, you know, it's when they're at their heaviest, it's when they feel like not their prettiest, but if you're doing the business and then later on and you get really great transformation, you want those old pictures. And so really, and honestly, guys, I use this before and after picture for like years. I use the same before and after picture to, to promote for years. So once you have a good before and after picture, no, you can continue to use that and be consistent with that same photo. Um, one thing to keep in mind too, is I kind of just remember this when you're posting on social media, only like two to three percent of the people on your social media see what you post so keep that in mind that means 97 percent are not seeing what you posted today okay so 97 percent 96 percent are not seeing what you posted today don't feel bad posting about it next week you know what i mean work smart you know don't feel like you need to be always creating new content i actually i actually save a lot of my content and i reuse it weeks from now I'll reuse posts and quotes and like actual like copy. What, what I mean by copy is like the actual posts that I write. I'll save that in my phone and I'll use it weeks from now. You know, when there's a day that I'm not inspired, you know, what not to do again, all this, I, I did this for years. I'm telling you, I did this for a long time. So I would share all of these, put all the products on there, train like a beast, etc. And then like, again, this is not a very attractive post, this like water. I love this picture because it makes me laugh every single time because we've all done it and we've all, you guys all see it when you, and you guys are going to say, Stephanie said not to do that. And it's like, I want you guys to think it's like, you're like, oh man, I'm not going to do that. I need to put one with like the Shakeology bag. Cause that's another one. It's like the Shakeology bag and the Shakeology cup. Cause you know, you guys have all done it. If you haven't, you've thought about doing it. And so, you know, and so, and it's okay. Again, this is just me trying to tell you guys like to learn from my mistakes. And I, and this is, um, Irene. So she knows that I put this on, she gave me permission not, and, and when I put this on here, but I reached out to her and I was like, girl, you need to stop these like really colorful kind of backgrounds because it just, I don't know, to me, again, I, I want you guys to have a sophisticated, you know, profession, more professional ish. At the end of the day, I want you guys to have your own flair. And I, and she, she's like, I want to have bright photos. I'm like, there's other ways you can do bright. Um, this is not the way to do bright. And she's improved significantly since, you know, getting feedback and she's continuing to improve again, being a student, being willing to learn, being willing to grow. Um, and so just really thinking about, you know, what not to do and so what to do, you know, so again, just showing excitement, showing clear photos before and after here, right here, again, just side by side, seamless, you know, just really just showing you know, talking about here, I like this photo because it's Hannah. She's talking about digestive health, you know, talking about, you know, how, and essentially she's talking about our product. This is the product here. And she's talking about how it can help with your digestion. So just little simple things like that. Here's Chelsea, you know, talking about energize. She's showing energize. She's showing the workout back here. You know, am I in the mood? Nope. But I'm super stressed, you know, because of X, Y, Z, but I'm still going to make time for myself. Okay. So this is really important to make posts like this, showing you, showing excitement. This is what people, they want to be a part of the energy. They can feel the energy coming through this, you know, showing before and afters. Here's the Kia, you know, really, you know, why, why is she doing this? What made me want to make a change was where my kids, my doctor told me I was overweight and I had cholesterol. Again, sharing your journey, sharing your transformation, sharing so that other people can relate. Those of you who follow Molly, you know, Molly has had a tremendous, tremendous, amazing transformation. 
the woman has lost a hundred pounds with as a coach she's lost a hundred pounds and so speaking you know a lot of people think oh i need to be at my goal weight before i start no you need to start sharing your journey now because people want to see the journey they want to see the wins they want to see the transformation because it makes it more relatable. When people see the after photo, they're like, great, that's wonderful. But then when they see someone who's like little by little losing inches, they're like, damn, I should have started with her like two weeks ago. Or like, she's already lost like two more inches. Like she looks phenomenal. So like little by little. And so she's, you know, and, and she's really transformed. She's had, she's been one of our biggest transformations on our team. Um, and then this is how you share about the team, you know, sharing the, about the team photo. You know, right now you guys can take a picture of the screen, for example. You're like, you know, we're doing a team call, we're doing team training, learning about the new business model. Again, the more that you speak confidently and you say you know, about the business and, you know, the more that you speak about that, the more that it'll benefit you. And so kind of here's an idea of a post guide. You know, you want to have the idea of like an inspirational post, a value post. And what we mean by value, guys, is like, is it, is it inspiration? Is it a, a recipe? Is it a tip about being a new mom? Is it whatever? It's adding value. You know, then you have one fitness nutrition post, and then you have two lifestyle personal posts. This is just an idea to give you an idea. And then how to ask questions. So again, so that was the end kind of of our content. Again, a lot of information I know. So when you're asking questions, guys, ask in the team page because there's, you know, every day we're adding people, or at least every week we're adding people in our team. So trust me, if you have a question, it's so much better to ask on the team page because number one, you're going to get different opinions. And then number two, it's just, it, it helps because you'll probably get answers faster and it's going to be a great resource for you when you have customers, I mean, when you have a coach, because if you're at work or you're busy, you want to be able to know that they're being fully supported and you have a team backing you up. Again, it's about the team. It's no longer just about you. It's about being a part of the team. And so asking, asking in the, you know, asking the, in the team page, but ask going to FAQs in our coach online office, you can find a ton of information in our FAQs. And the way that you go to FAQs is pretty much you just kind of, um, you just go to your online office and then you go to the bottom and it says like FAQs. So that's how you would go to FAQs. And um, you can also Google a lot of things. And also on YouTube, there's a lot of training material. You just put in Beachbody, how to post on social media, how to run a challenge group, lots of information, lots of resources there for you. And then I talk about a power hour, which again, every, this is the idea of creating a list, a very basic list that you can do every single day. And so maybe you're saying, okay, I wanna post once a day. I wanna you know, make sure I check into the challenge group once a day, make, make sure I check into the team coaching page, see if there's any announcements or anything or any questions that are there that I can benefit from. And then, you know, I want to make sure I, you know, I respond to five people a day who have liked my photo and just set reasonable goals for you that you can commit to every single day. Um, and just really committing to that in an hour. And I, I know lots of people who have followed the power hour method. And the key to this is really to just time yourself and really not get caught up in having conversations or get caught up in being lost in the newsfeed, for example, like I'm guilty of this big time. I waste a lot of time scrolling through social media and scrolling through Instagram. Um, it's still something that I continue to work on. So just kind of keeping that in mind, thinking of a um, power hour list. All right, so next steps. All right, guys, the end, I promise. Um, so pick a program and commit to it. Pick a book to read for personal development. Um, reach out to your coach and ask them about a challenge group if you're not, if you're not familiar. Again, you always have the challenge group that I'm, that I'm running. I'm gonna be opening up a new challenge group over the next couple of days, actually, and then we'll be transitioning our current big challenge group over the course of next week into the new group. So the idea is that every three months, we run a, we run a group for three months at a time. And then we restart, we reopen, we fresh energy, you know, kind of everyone else who kind of, kind of whittled away, it gives us an opportunity to follow up with our customers, so it's just kind of the, the system that we're going to, at least that I'm going to follow. Um, and then again, Team Healthier You is the training site. And that's it. And so I believe in you. And this is a lot of information I know. And it's typical. And I know it's a lot. And I thank you for coming on. And so, oh, developed by Kate. I didn't know that. Developed was, what was, was Share a Card developed by a Canadian? Oh, I didn't know that. Look at that. No, no. What was developed by a Canadian? Maybe link. The what? Maybe link. 
Oh, it was, oh, it was developed by a Canadian. Got it. Yeah. I had a customer <laughs> buying with my, cause I didn't share a card. Yep. Oh yes. And that's true too. Good point. So if someone, so let's say someone, um, two things, if someone signs up and for whatever reason, you don't see their order in your online office, let's say they're like, Oh, Denise, or, you know, I, I ordered and I don't see any. And then you go to their, you go to your online office, usually within an hour, you should see their name in their, in your customer list. But it takes, if they order a package, it takes anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to see the points show up. Usually it's 24 hours, but I always give them 48 hours, but you should always see the name of the customer within an hour in your new customer list. And so let's say they say they ordered and then you go to your customer list and you don't see anything. I usually will go to them and I say, Hey, did you order? And they're like, yeah, I ordered. And I say, okay, did you have a coach before? Did you ever order anything before? And usually they, they may say, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, maybe I did. So no fret. You just have to send them a form that's easy for them to fill out. It has their information and it'll come right over to you. You just want to be able to catch it within, I believe it's within 30, within 15 days or 30 days um, where you can have the customer switch. Everything will switch right to you. You'll get the points. You'll get the commission. Everything will switch right over to you. Um, yeah. So that's that. Awesome. What, oh, it's, uh, the, it's passion is the password. It's passion. Any other, any questions right now? I know it's a lot, but <laughs> you better not uh, share that on YouTube. <laughs> any, any questions that you guys have? I know it's a lot of information, but it's a lot to take in. Cool. All right. Well, I have no questions. Well, thank you for coming on. And again, our, um, our, our call will be